everyone, welcome to our garden. It's our last day of school and I'm gonna be a sixth grader. And I'm gonna be a fifth grader. Yay, congratulations girls. We're gonna have a party uh, with all our friends and we're so excited. You're gonna have all your friends over yeah, to celebrate? Yeah. And what are you guys gonna do? Uh, have a sleepover. Have a sleepover. Should we set up the hot tub today? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> have a wonderful day, girls. It's a short day, right? Yeah, yeah. Home so, super, super short. And then what are you doing? Picking up snacks and treats yeah, for the yeah. party? All right. Have fun. Bye. Have a good day. Oh, my babies are growing up. It's so sad. I don't know why. The first day of school and the last day of school, I get so sad. I mean, I know why. It's, my babies are growing up. My babies. Sadie's going to be in sixth grade next year, you guys. I mean, I just, oh, I just, I can't believe it. I'm so proud of them, but I just, oh, it's going too fast. So anyway, so today's the last day of school and on the last day of school, we always let the girls have all their friends over and have a big sleepover um, and kind of like a party. And um, Jason used to do a yes day where he would do all the silly things with them, like let them paint his nails and all that kind of stuff. The girls are getting a little too old for that and they're asking him to do some crazy things. So no yes day today, but we're still gonna do kind of like a sleepover. So this is the first year that we've been in our new property um, for the end of the school year. Uh, we used to have a pool at our last property and that was really fun. We had such a great time. Um, so no pool on this property. I don't even know if we are gonna be able to ever afford a pool. They're so expensive these days. Uh, but what we can afford, what we are doing is we're having the Goodland wood burning hot tub here. And we've had it, Jason and I have been waiting to kind of set it up because we've had, you know, the, the, the event on May 25th and then I went to San Diego. But now for the last day of school, we definitely want to set it up so that the girls can take a nice, wonderful, relaxing soak in the wood burning hot tub. The cool thing about this is you know, you, you, you can use it as a wood burning hot tub, like a hot tub. You can use it as a warm tub or you can use it as like a cold tub. And so we'll see what the girls want to do today since it is um, pretty warm. I have a feeling they'll want to do the hot tub though, because how fun is it to like, you know, burn the fire and everything like that. And it's just going to be so much fun. So anyway, Jason is going to be home soon. He just dropped the girls off at school and then we are going to be setting up the hot tub. I just opened one of the boxes and it came with this cute hat. I really like it. It matches the shirt I'm wearing today, but let me show you the ax and the, um, the hand shower that it came with. It's really nice. Look at this gorgeous ax. I mean, I'm gonna have to learn how to split wood safely and carefully, but look at how beautiful this thing is. And then it came, it also came with this hand shower and it's aluminum and basically it has holes in it. So when you're in the tub, you know, you can kind of scoop up some water and let it drain out. Actually, let me show you with this. So you basically scoop up the water. Isn't that fun? And so the whole idea of Goodland, um, their whole business idea, which I really, really appreciate, is slowing down, absolutely slowing everything down, taking your time with everything, um, not just pushing a button and having the jets of the hot tub go on, you know, actually like starting the fire, letting it warm up slowly, uh, and then gradually, you know, like during that time, you're supposed to pay attention to nature and pay attention to what's going on around you. So it's basically like mindful hot tub soaking, which honestly, we all need that these days. Okay, so Jason just got home. He's changing. Oh, you're out. Okay, you, you ready? ready? I'm excited. So real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to remind you all how we got it delivered. So this is the big box that it came in. Um, uh, it got delivered on a pallet. So a truck came. It was, I think they call it freight delivery. I think that's what you call it. Um, and then they had, you know, like the pallet mover thing. I'm saying the wrong words. But basically, they just they had the pallet come. And we asked them to leave it here, knowing that this thing is actually very, very light. Two people are supposed to be able to move it very easily and they say that it only takes about 15 minutes to set up we'll see <laughs> like you never know um but it should be really interesting um to see like the whole shipping and packaging and all that kind of stuff because it does come from canada again it's from winnipeg canada manitoba um and so that's where they pack everything up and um yeah i i just i'm i'm excited to open up and see what's in there yes manitoba hi peggy from manitoba hi peggy all right 
I'm excited. Oh, pretty. So this is like this. This is the smokestack. Oh, it smells good. Is it? Smells like cedar. It smells really good. Smell good. I see it. Very exciting. So I got the natural one. They do have the soot, or I think that's what it's called. Basically, it's the black one, but I thought this would be so pretty, so natural. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. It's actually a couple hours later, of course. The Well, Jason and I finished putting it together earlier today, but the girls got out of school so early. They got out at noon and we had all the little girls come over and we had the tub all set up and beautiful. And of course, the second they got home, all five little girls jumped into the tub. And so we have been having so much fun with it. Well, I should say they have been so much, having so much fun, right, Jason? Yeah, yeah. They have been having fun. Jason and I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we're very excited to use it after we finish this, uh, after we finish this video. So it fits five little girls very easily. And then otherwise it's supposed to fit two adults and two kids. So perfect for our family. Um, so it did not take. 15 minutes to set the whole thing up, right? It took a little bit longer. It took, I would say, I think I misunderstood the instructions. I think it meant 15 minutes to like light the fire and get it ready to go. And then it takes about 90 minutes to heat up the hot tub once you start the fire and then that'll heat it up to the temperature that you want it to be. Um, and so it took, how long would you say that took us? To, uh, an hour and a half? to get it all set up and looking good and all that kind of stuff. So probably an hour and a half, but it was only Jason and I, and it was very simple. And like, you know, you could wait, you could buy a hot tub and wait a couple months for it to get delivered and have to get it professionally installed. Or it's something like this, which I honestly, I think is beautiful. I, I just, I'm in love with it. So let me show you a little bit closer look. Are you excited to start the fire? Yeah. Is that what you want? <laughs> so Jason was excited. He, you want to show everyone your kindling? <laughs> he went around the property and picked up all the extra debris and everything that we are going to use. Well, we have all these wood chips. Yeah. And so we have all of these, like we don't, those are the ones that we don't really want so much anyway. So yeah. it's actually perfect. That's perfect for kindling and we don't want it in our mulch. So yeah. 
Yeah. So it's actually kind of nice. Oh, we're going to use that. So this is the fire holder. This is because it's called the large fire holder. It's beautiful. I love it because this aluminum, if you see there, it's aluminum. It, it matches our metal out here, our metal raised beds. So it kind of goes, it really goes with everything. And you can see that we have uh, the logs and then even smaller logs that Jason has already chopped up. Um, so here is, this is the patio. I'll link that video below where Jason laid this patio. It was kind of phase one when he laid this patio, right? Yes. And because we didn't know how big we wanted it to be. We didn't know how wide all that. I didn't want to overbuild it first. I know. Yeah. But now that we see the hot tub in, it, we need one more row. We need one more row. Yeah, exactly. So we are going to do one more row of the pavers right there. I think that that will look really good. But I love the style of it, don't you? Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Okay, so this is um, Western Cedar. It smells delicious. You are you can stain the pieces. Like I don't know if you saw me. It was really easy to take the pieces of wood out um, and put them back in. So you could easily stain them. I kind of like it natural like that. It really goes really well with my decomposed granite. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it. Oh, it has the smokestack. Uh, this is right here. This is an accessory, this little plate thing right here. This, this is the, um, what is it called? Like a large rigid end cap. Thank you, babe. Yeah. End plate, <laughs> end plate. rigid end plate. So that kind of just covers everything, but you don't need that. If you look in here, this is where you're going to start the fire. This is where we're going to start the fire. And then as the fire goes and it heats up, the water goes right next to the fire. And here's the chimney where it lets, lets off all of the smoke and everything. So the water actually goes under here and it touches the fire every, everywhere with the marine grade aluminum and then it gradually heats up the water um and so i'm just super excited to see how it works it just seems so much fun so we i did get the it, this is an accessory this is the steps i just they're beautiful and then this is the cedar bath tray which i am just obsessed with and then this is the little shower hand shower which again i showed you guys this already but you kind of go like that and basically what it does i mean it just increases the experience of the whole thing um and again it's just a matter of slowing down taking your time with it and enjoying being out in nature i have to show you this look at that if you move half as fast you notice twice as much and that's just the kind of stuff that Goodland has, like little touches like that that really make this tub and this whole setup really, like, can I say fancy? <laughs> right? Wouldn't you say? Fancy. It's super fancy. It's yeah. just so, uh, it just feels really, really high end. Um, so anyway, then we also have the axe. And then this is the paddle, which as you heat up the water... You can stir it kind of like that. So just very fun. I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to start the fire and I'm excited. Oh, I'm just excited to relax in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's officially time. Jason is getting the fire started to start warming up the tub. In about an hour and a half, we will be able to come out here. Hopefully the girls will be watching a video or doing something by then because <laughs> I'm taking over the tub. So basically step one for us for this whole tub installation is to get the ground ready. So we decided to install a paver patio, but honestly, you can put it on anything that's level. You can put it on gravel. You can put it on straight ground if it's level enough for you. Um, you can put it on a deck because uh, if your deck's strong enough to hold the weight, because when you drain it, there's actually a tube that you can connect to it. So you can drain it like off the side of the deck um, when you want to drain it and like clean it out and all that kind of stuff. So step one was getting the patio down. So Jason and I are like, like three quarters of that step is done. <laughs> step two is actually setting up the tub, which really didn't take that long. Um, putting it together was no big deal. Delivery was about two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks for us, delivery on a freight. And then it took two people to kind of set it up. Step three, hopefully will be next week when the screen will be delivered. We'll be able to install the screen right behind it. Give it, give us a little bit of privacy from the goats in the words of Michael Glassman, the landscape designer. <laughs> this is my friend. And that was the idea when he had thought of just doing a regular tub here was to have a screen. So we went along with that, but now we have this fancy wood burning tub.
Um, so that should hopefully be next week. And then I have a bunch of plans for having beautiful pots and some grasses and flowers and all that kind of stuff, kind of decorating that whole area. So I will definitely take you along with all of that. But so far, I'm happy that we have a working hot tub. Oh, I see the fire. <laughs> it's very exciting. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today. Thank you.